as Joe Willett breaks forward. He's got Martinelli to his left, finds him. Martinelli takes a touch, plays Bukayo Sacco, fires in a brilliant goal. Bukayo Sacco with an excellent finish and Arsenal lead at Bournemouth. What a start. You couldn't have asked for a better start. It's a fantastic bit of football from the Gunners. Martinelli had the presence of mind to play Saka in on the left. And the finish is sensational. Absolutely sensational. Bournemouth nil, Arsenal won. The perfect start. Less than five minutes played here. Just watching the replay. Willock done brilliantly. Sells the dummy to Gosling. Plays it to Martinelli. He's got Bukayo Saka making the run on the outside. And from the tightest of angles, he rifles it into the roof of the net. Beyond the goalkeeper, Mark Travers, who may be a little bit disappointed, but there was so much power on the effort. It's harsh probably to blame him, but it cannons off the underside of the crossbar. And Arsenal lead at the Vitality Stadium inside five minutes. Bukayo Saka is the scorer. Willick with a lovely ball out to the left-hand side. He finds Saka. Saka delivers into the box. And there's Eddie and Ketia to double Arsenal's lead. 25 minutes in. It's Bournemouth nil. Arsenal 2. Fantastic stuff. Fantastic stuff from the Gunners. Brilliant play. Once again, Bukayo Saka out on the left-hand side, creating space, pulling out on the touchline. We were just speaking about that tactic and how well it's worked for the Gunners. The fact that they are setting up in such a way that he can pull out to that left-hand side and has the freedom of the pitch. And you see it again. Xhaka in that inside position. Enketia into Willock. Lovely ball out to the left-hand side. Saka looks up. Martinelli makes the run across the near post, taking Nathan Ake with him. Nobody tracks Eddie Nketiah, and he's there to finish it expertly. It's Bournemouth nil, Arsenal 2. And what a fantastic opening 25 minutes or so this has been for the Gunners. Left-footed, it's run on. Oh, and Bournemouth have pulled one back. Bournemouth have pulled a goal back. And it's game on at the Vitality Stadium. And it's Sam Surridge with the goal. Arsenal are appealing for an offside. There's no doubt the VAR is going to check it. Let's have a look here. We just see this again. The delivery comes in from Francis. Is he offside? Is he offside? It's impossible to tell from that picture. Does Gosling get a touch? In which case, he would be offside. The arms have gone up. Arsenal appealing for it. If Gosling's got a touch, then we need a freeze frame of when Gosling gets that touch. And we don't have that at the moment. As we wait to find out. And we play on. It's Bournemouth 1, Arsenal 2. And it's going to now be a nervy last few minutes for the Gunners. And once again... Arsenal put themselves under unnecessary pressure by conceding a goal, by giving Bournemouth a route back into this game. They have been better in this second half, but they haven't threatened enough. They haven't done enough to warrant being back in this game. And Arsenal have gifted them, an equal, uh, not an equaliser, but they've gifted them a goal. They've gifted them the opportunity to get back in this game. And now Mikel Arteta watches on nervously. Two minutes of added time to play, but we know they're going to be more because of that lengthy stoppage, because of the VAR check during the initial eight minutes that were added on. Here is Sermon. Hopefully this will be the last action of the game. Martin Atkinson blows the whistle and Arsenal are through to the next round of the FA Cup. Goals from Bukayo Saka and Eddie Nketiah in the first half seemingly set Arsenal on their way. It looked as if it was going to be plain sailing for the most part but of course in true Arsenal fashion we made it difficult for ourselves by not performing anywhere near that level in the second half uh, as a result Bournemouth found their way back into the game late on but it was too little too late for Eddie Howe's